Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick, we're playing Stationeers. And we've had another update. And it's rockets. It's rockets, it's rockets, it's rockets, it's rockets. Ah! But uh, yeah, but um, before we get on to that, there's, uh, there's more than just rockets. They've changed the complete uh, solar system. So now you'll find that the sun position is different. So uh, if you are running your base off solar power, as I have a heap of solar panels up here, I'm just on top of my base. And I'm just watching the sun rise in the, um, well, in the south. Yep. So if you are relying on solar, please go and check your uh, power system. Because I've had to run around and redo mine because it was not made uh, in with to have everything facing south. That was not the plan. So I have been running out of power and trying to fix it all. Oh, shit. Um, oh shit. Okay, that's refueled. That suddenly went quick. Um, but yeah, we're building rockets. Uh, I was, uh, why did that go so quickly? It was taking forever, and um, uh, it's suddenly very high now. Whatever changed on that, uh, when I reloaded, it is changed and it is fixed. Um, the ice crushes were going very slowly. The mixer was going very slowly. That was only up to about 20 megapascals. And uh, now it's suddenly shot up to 50. Uh, but anyway, it uh, looks like we're refueled and ready to go. As I say, I was going to... Um, uh, fudge me way through. I was going to have a bit of a play with it before. It was taking so long to refuel that I decided, ah, oh, let's just um, do it and we'll figure it out as we go. But to build rockets, the first thing you're going to need is a new printer. Uh, yes, we have a dedicated printer. This is lots of new parts on this now. So instead of just uh, rockets just being a resource grind to get all the super alloys you needed to make it, uh, we now have a resource printer specifically for rockets and it has all quite a lot of rocket parts in there. So uh, fortunately the rocket parts don't actually cost much in the way of exotic materials. Most of them are just steel, your basic alloys and your basic materials. So um, it's, it, but it's no longer just a case of stack up the parts and off it goes. So um, it's a little bit more complex. I've really not flown a rocket yet. I've just had a bit of a build. As I say, I was waiting for the fuel to take forever, but as we can hear now from the pipe creaking, it is, um, it's up to pressure. Maybe a little bit too much. So, um, but anyway, we shall have a build. Now, I have built a bit of a basic rocket there, so if we go into our help, we go to, uh, rockets we find right down the bottom. Uh, we have two entries for rockets. Uh, the bottom one is nothing. It just takes the rocket parts. The top one is your rockets and you get a little guide on what to do. Um, now it says you've got to build a rocket manufacturer. You've got to put your fuselage type A1 in there, which is your engine mount. Um, put down your launch mount. Put down your engine. Um, now I've done all of that. And now I'm yet to launch it. Let's have a go for the grand reveal. My rocket. Here it is. Da, da, da. I may have oversold that. But uh, yeah, I think that's all you need for a basic rocket to get it to launch. Although I say I've just been waiting for the refuel, so I haven't tried launching it yet. Uh, so now if we do the thing there, uh, yes. We have the fuselage A1, which is this little short section here. Um, that is, well, there's only one short section. There's a heap of different large sections there. As far as I can tell, it's, it's only the shape that differs. And we have our pumped gas engine in there, which is supposed to be the easy one to do. So I've used that one in there. Uh, your launch pad down first, then your engine mount, your engine, and everything else on top of it. Now, uh, we'll, I dare say I'll have to pull that apart and rebuild it there. So let's just... See if we can launch it and uh, see how we go. Um, so we have aviotics place. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
Now, see, igniting the rocket without a destination allows the rocket performance and fuel usage. Expect to use uh, 5 to 20 k mole of fuel per rocket trip. Yep. Um, rocket scans. Right, so we've just got the uh, enough there to fire it. So if I don't set a destination, I should be able to just uh, start it. And holy Kerbal Station is program. Well, I don't have that much fuel in there. I've only got about 6,000 in there, and that's chockers. So it's only got the one fuel tank in it, so you're probably meant to put more than one fuel tank in there. Nice to know. And that pipe creaking is really freaking me out. Uh, we're on the launch mount. We know nothing about it. Uh, I have a battery... Which is going down. Why are you going down? Um, ah, that's what's gone wrong. Um, that's why. Uh, we have our umbilical connectors here. Why my pipe is probably creaking is because I haven't got the umbilical connector attached. Now it's attached. When I lost power, it must have deconnect, disconnected. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's not fueled up. I thought it was close to being fueled up. It's just that I had a pipe which was disconnected. Um, well, it's not doing too bad. But there you go. Uh, yeah, it is dirty fuel. I've just been crushing ice. So there's a bit of nitrogen. I hope that still works. If it doesn't, we'll look pretty silly. Uh, so that's the fuel connector there. I have the umbilical for the power there, which is also disconnected when the power went out. Push that button and it has connected back on again. And now my battery should be going up. Uh, now I've used heavy power to connect to the battery charger. Uh, it does blow cables pretty easily, so... I mean, it can take a large power connector in there, uh, so I have. Uh, right. Our battery is now fully charged. Okay, we have our engine, which is uh, doing nothing. We have no volatiles, no, no moles, no fuel. Okay. Um... Right, we have a map. We have a question mark and we have that. That's a rocket and a launch pad, that might be us. But we're not in space, we're on the ground. Maybe that's space and that's the ground. The ground gets further away. Um, okay, so... Okay, I can pick a destination. Okay, radio. I don't want to pick a destination. I want no destination set. Um, I don't know what that is. Right, anyway, we've got to launch the rocket. Um, so, we need to... Uh, igniting the rocket. We need to ignite the rocket. Um, okay, how do I reignite the rocket? Now you can favourite things to put them up the top of the list there if it's something you're always using. We've got no oxygen, no pressure, no combustion. Wait a minute, can I edit that one? I can edit that one. Well, don't tell me that's how you switch it on. Oh shit! <laughs> um. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love the shaking. Oh, hang on, it's hot. Ah, no, 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 off. Oh shit! Ow! Wow. Okay. Um, 
Guess what? Fire hot. I've burned my own cufflink. <laughs> uh, uh, I... <laughs> okay. That's actually sensible. Ah, uh, don't put stuff near your rocket. It's it's um, it's it's hot. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I. Oh shit! So now I'm gonna have to. <laughs> okay, so you can't just um. All those bases I've made before where you put the rocket with the exhaust going into the base, um, that's probably not going to work now because fire hot. <laughs> okay, now um, after the last rocket update, I was going to say, like, let's not get too ahead of ourselves and have high expectations, but this is freaking awesome. Um, right. Previously, the tail flame was cosmetic. Now it's actually... A flame. Aha. Uh -huh. My uplink got broken. Wow, lucky that survived until I actually shut the thing off. If that broke while it was still active, I would have been in deep doo-doo. Okay, so I need another uplink. We have our data link. We have the, um, which is the base station and the one you're mounting the rocket. So you've got to have one of each. Uh, they both come from the same kit. <laughs> Um, I'll build it further away from the rocket, perhaps. And I need... I burnt my tablet. Ah, my glasses burnt. Can I fix them? They're expensive. Burn the glasses off my face, but I can. Oh, awesome. Oh. Burn the glasses off my face inside my helmet. That is um, rather hot. <laughs> uh, so I need one of them. Um, right, where are we? I need... Um, what do I need? Okay, there's no build states on that one. I'm not even getting a highlight. What's going on here? Build it. Um, okay. I need cable, electronic parts, steel sheets. Uh, next, I needed a screwdriver and electronic parts. And then the welder. What's wrong with my welder? Oh, what? My welder? Did that burn the battery out of my welder? Where are my other tools? Oh, it's burned the batteries out of almost everything. Um, okay, I'll go get some more batteries. <laughs> uh, okay, successful first launch. Yep, fire hot. Everything's gone dark. I've probably lost... The Burnt the battery out of my underpants too. Damn. Okay. Let's get some more batteries. Okay, we're back. We have some fresh batteries in our tools now. And we have an uplink. Nice. Now, the old one, we can deconstruct that with a welder. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, now you are not damaged, you are damaged. <laughs> okay, so that's got to be moved away. Um, oh, I don't want to have to refuel my rocket. Maybe I could suck all the fuel back out again and move it. Um, right, maybe I should pre-mix my fuel. Uh, anyway, but um, I really want to go back and have a, 
damage. You don't have the damage bars anymore. You see, damage is now just a number on the top. So you've got to look a bit harder if you want to know whether it's damaged. So everything. That's just the cables, and the cables were damaged. Wow, okay. Now that stuff's okay. Everything back to there is damaged. Gantries are still good. The cabling is all burned. The heavy cable looks to be okay. Light cable is burned. Okay, so maybe we're going to heavy cable everything around here. No light cables. Um, move this stuff away. Pipes, pipes okay, pipes are okay. Right. But any other light cables and everything, uh, move them away. So much means lights that I've put up then. Yeah. And it's going to interfere with what other stuff we got there. Okay, so i got to move it. <laughs> uh, I might get another tank and pump the fuel back out of it and we're going to rebuild. We're going to rebuild it anyway. Um, right, uh, okay. Let's get a tank, pump the fuel out and um, build it further away. Now, let's... Uh, the rocket's all gone. So let's uh, go and build a new one. So first thing we're going to need is our launch platform. You'll see from the uh, tooltip there, it says it requires support for frame balloon. It requires support between each pillar. So you need four supports to, to run that one. Now it looks like we have a damage, a damage radius of just pretty much everything right next to that frame. Everything outside of there, so everything on the boundary has been damaged. Oh, no, so they're damaged as well. The light cables are anyway. Uh, so let's give um, those ones there. Nothing outside of that. So let's give it um, maybe two squares distance from anything important. Uh, okay, so we set it up. Um, Let's set it up out here. Say one, two, three, and four. They are going to be my supports. And I've run out of frames. Um, radio. Well, anyway, so I weld them up. in our launch pad I can't see any direction which is forward so uh, we'll just put it down any old direction there we need to build it so we need uh, steel sheets a screwdriver really okay why not uh, welding torch and steel sheets And that looks like it's done. Right, that is number one. Now, we need to put on a rocket uh, launch mount. Now, I see with these ones here, we have a whole heap of variations if we scroll through. There's 11 variations. Most of them there are just looking different. Um, but we want an engine mount, which is basically the skinny ones. Uh, so pick whichever one you like. Well, go you imagine we can go with uh, A1. Right. That's got a little square opening in the top of it there, which allows us to fit in our engine, which I have sitting right here. So we've just got the pressure-fed engine. What the hell is that? It's moving. Sure. UFOs. 
Ah, uh, would you can go into there? Goes green and it goes. Um, so we've once again just got a power connector and a pipe connector. Uh, sort that out however you like. Now we need to then again we'll build that one, which is uh, pipes. Okay, sure. Uh, steel sheets. That looks done. And you get steel sheets as well by the looks of it. Okay, so there's our engine mount and engine all done. Nice bit of detail. I... Oh, look at that gimbal mounts on it at all. That's very nerdy. Of course, it's not a closed cycle because that's the output from the, from the uh, turbo pumps. That's not super efficient. But it says that in the instructions, it's not the most efficient one. Alright, so now we just need to start building the rocket from there. So we first got to put on our engine bodies. Uh, I think it's just culling some. We've got a little flare on the bottom of them there. We'll put them down the bottom for um, uh, making it go faster. Uh, let's build a bigger one. We shall put on another one. Uh, one of them. Now we need our fuel tanks. We'll put in two fuel tanks this time. So we have, once again, we just grab our fuel tanks. Now we can't fit them. We have the small ones, the large ones. The large ones take up five. Um, five for the tank kits. Uh, we just scroll between them with the mouse wheel. Now I can't connect it directly to that because it all has to be plumbed together inside. So we put you into there. And I'll grab another one, which I've printed out a little earlier. I think five more of them there. Now we have. Oh shit! I can't connect them up. Um. Uh, okay. I need to get power or data and pipe to them. So maybe I'll put you over there. Pipe you up from the bottom. Uh, sure, that'll work. I need to get to you. You. Right, so they're hooked up to the engine and to, well, each other. I've still got to hook up the power and the data and um, right and we'll need the connector for it to be able to fill it up so I have a gas umbilical which is you and I'll need a launch tower as well I can chuck the launch tower up here uh, and turn it around that way May as well use them all. Now, put the, well, we'll put the connector umbilical. So we've got the uh, umbilical which goes inside the rocket. Now you'll notice there's an arrow, uh, you notice there's an arrow on it there. Uh, arrow pointing inwards. Uh, that's, I think that's pointing the wrong way. Or I just don't understand what it means because uh, it should actually be facing that way with the arrow. Was that where the pipe connects? I don't know. Uh, but I need to get uh, data into it to there, so I might have to put that off to one side. Right, oops, with a one of them. Right, so I've got a yellow connector onto there, so that means I've connected it. And all the even though the arrow is saying it points in that way. Um, maybe there's something there I don't understand, quite possibly. Uh, okay. I could actually put that up higher. I've got to get power into you and you and you. Um, but anyway, uh, so that's where that one goes. So I'll need another umbilical, uh, which is you. Yep, another gas one there. Now that one is the bit that goes inside the rocket. My mouse wheel. I actually got a one that connects on a 45 degree angle if you want. 
Ah, uh, or we've got the tower connector here. So now you'll see, you'll know if you've got it connected up properly in the right spot because the, uh, especially if it's off centre, because when I put this in, we see the connector now just zooms across to match up with what we've got in here. So that means we've got it in the right spot and facing the right direction. Uh, right, so that will get us fuel into there to the engine. That's pretty much all we need for fueling the engine. Uh, but we need a battery in there as well. So we have battery kits uh, uh, somewhere. Battery. Right, so I have small and large. The large one takes two battery kits, the small one just takes the one. I don't know how many you need, but um, let's just put in a large one because, well, I can. Oh, it's not going to fit in there. Okay, let's find somewhere else to put it. All right. How about if I move that up by one? Now I'll have space for it. And now I can fit my battery into there and let's put the switch where I can reach it although I don't think I'm really going to switch anything on oh hang on that's got a data port on it there as well ah do I have to tie that up uh well I've got to get data up to you I'll put you that way that's the in and the out there you up there I can't put a umbilical incline with that one Okay. How about that then? I put the in at the top. We put the umbilical up there. And if I use the right angle one. And face that outwards. Well, there's that connector there. If I then grab the umbilical, our umbilical, I can connect you up to there. Nice. I can't extend that without power means if I then put you into the battery, that should allow you to charge. And in the battery I can just wire up. Um, wire up to both of you. Uh, cable cutters. I can wire up get the data on that and come up to get uh, I've got to get to you and get to that tank right so you're all hooked up I got a lot of wasted space in there Okay, so we are almost back to where we are. Now we need the data link and we need the avionics. Uh, I'll grab these cables because I'll probably need them as well. And that's pretty much all of the old rocket. Now the data link can go anywhere that there is power. Uh, I have a spot down here where, whoops. That he's not doing anything at all, so I can just um, chuck him in there. Yep, you. Uh, so that's that one. We just rotate and we get this one here. Uh, now let's just. Uh, nope. Go that way. Uh, it's just a light, it's not a switch. That's alright. So there's our avionics hooked up. And, um, yeah, a lot of space in there which I haven't used very well. Uh, but anyway, 
Now, the last thing we need is our avionics. The avionics is what allows the rocket to fly and be all rockety. Well, I probably could fit that over there. I can pipe through that, through that thing there. That's fine. If I pop you down there, there's a switch right there. The power is on the wrong side. Oh. Now it goes that way. So I can connect to you. And we're good. Uh, where's my cutters? There they are. So that, oops, I've got to build it. I need screwdriver and electronic parts. I need a welding torch and steel sheets. Okay. That is an avionics setup. Battery, everything is switched on when you put it in, so it doesn't look like you've got to move anything. Um, right, so that is pretty much our rocket set to go. Now we've had a test fire of it, um, which was interesting. So now there's some other stuff you put into it, because we've got to search for new places and we've got to be able to do some mining. So for that I shall need a um, few more parts. So we have... Uh, cargo storage and um, a miner, a scanner, um, circuit housing which I haven't quite figured out what that one's for and transformer which I really haven't figured out what that's for, a scanning head and I should have a drill head kicking around here somewhere. There it is. And I'll probably need some shoots for hooking it all up. Um, right, let's go put them together. Now, whoop, ow. Now, so I'll need a, um, that, that's not it. I want the storage. So they are small and large and that's outside of the ship so I can't put it in there. Well done. I'll need another fuselage as well. Which I think I saw a couple kicking around there. There we go. Right. Now we should be able to put it in there. <coughs> right. So that is in at the top and out at the bottom. I can roll it onto its side, but that's not going to fit in there no matter what I do. Uh, right. Um. Oh, nope. Let's put you in there. Oh, I've got to build you too. Okay. Steel sheets. Nice. Oh, I've got to get data to connect. Do I have to connect that up? That really limits the places I can put that then. Three wide. Okay. Um... Well then, let's uh, let's move that wrench. And hand drill. Uh, where are you? Nope, that one. You go over to there. In at the top, out at the bottom. Right, so I have to be able to hook you up to an umbilical. Uh, so, weld sheets. Right, so I can hook up the data. I can connect you to an umbilical. That's the output. 
I'll need a shoot umbilical, which I had there. That, yeah, I've only got one. Well, I'll need another one of them. Yep. Uh, umbilical for shoots. Nice. Oop. Oop, ow. So you will need to go into there. The arrow is pointing out on that one, which sounds correct. And I shall need a we call it on there and the little doodad moves to one side to line up which means we got it right okay so that's all in there we need to get some actual mining and stuff done don't we so get a miner the miner is out at the bottom can i turn that one upside down I can so it's out at the top I put that there I can easily pipe it over the top um, I need to build that one too uh, electronic parts and that looks like it's done now we need to put the drill head on it Oop, we have a drill uh, now there's a couple of shoots to hook that one up and that one should be good to go why aren't you switched on Them on. Uh, so I can connect them up, connect the shoots up at the top. So, scanner. Our scanner needs to just connect to data. I could fit that in not here. Uh, I put it in here. It only needs to connect to. Now I put you into there. That should give me enough space to do that. So you need nope. What do you need? Come on. Well that I need iron sheets. Iron? Oh okay. Uh, I have some of them. shoots I don't think I do no oh, stop right that's all we need from you uh, and a scanning head which goes into there so now I just need to wire you all up so that comes up to there oh I'm always set of cables. Um. Nope, nope, that's not it. Oh, it's up here. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew that. And I need to get over to you and you. Cables. You can switch on. Uh, and I need some more cables. And I need some more chutes. And I think that might be a rocket just about ready to go. Right. Cabling. Done shoots should just be an up and over 
So that'll get me one miner and one scanner. How many do I need? I don't know. Uh, but that should be my rocket done. So we've got fuel, scanner, a miner, cargo, battery, avionics, uplink. Um, that should be it. So it's better connecting the tower now to uh, everything else and filling it up with fuel and putting another thing on the top of it. Uh, so I just need one more of them. And this time we might better do something with it. Uh, top. Pointy one, round one. Bearing. Yeah, let's go round one. Uh, that should be a rocket. So we've got our cargo connector, our power connector, our fuel connector, fuel tanks, power cells, cargo container. Okay, let's connect it up. All connected, I think, well, apart from the chutes, but uh, it's just a test flight and whoops, naked. Um, I think that's all we need to weld it up. Yep. You. And you. And I've run out. Okay. That looks like a rocket. Now we just need a ground station which is basically just a computer with a rocket control card in it. The rocket control card is the new piece we've got and of course which just, just comes out of a rocket printer. Now we should put it uh, away from the rocket this time so I don't burn myself. I wonder if I see the rocket. With, uh, awesomeness is awesome. We want to be able to see it. Now I've got uh, just light cable going to heavy cable. The heavy cable just over there so it doesn't burn. Well, that is the main power cable that comes into the umbilical. Now uh, the rest of it is just the cable that I've put in heavy cable because the light cable burnt. Uh, was that just by chance or is that something that actually happened? Uh, let's call it purple cable. There we go. Right, so that's coming via transformer. And I'm going to put in the wrong color cable and mess that up. Nice. You're connected. You're all connected. And I'd better build that one. There. Um, of course, give you a paint. Now we should be ready to go. I've got to put fuel in it. I switch that on. There's no rockets connected. Now we have the uplink in there. I should need to connect it to this uplink. You need to switch which rocket it's talking to. As I only have one of them, uh, that's a pretty easy one to choose. So now I should put that screwdriver away. I don't want to put Whoa, okay, we've got some more things here now. I have got the battery. She's already charged. Okay, so you pull it apart, doesn't look like it loses its charge. That's handy. I have no fuel. Okay, um, I shall need to hook you up. Connect the fuel line. Fuel line is connected. And let's start fueling you up. Ah, there we go. So let's uh, grab the pressure. That's an important one. Uh, the engine is switched off. We want to know that one and probably throttle. Maybe, maybe not. Confidence of landing success is low. Uh, okay. Why? 
Why is it low? What's wrong? Why don't I have that much thrust? Now, can I do a static fire? Um, now, you just had to set the engine. Uh, engine. On. That's good. There's a the thrust. Ah, uh, thrust, 16. We got 16. burnt my chutes off, did it? The cable's okay, pipe's okay. It did, it burnt the chutes. Okay, so you can't put chutes there. Burnt my lights off, but not my cables. Don't put lights at, uh, at, at um, rocket level. Everything else okay? Okay, looks like pipes and heavy cables look to be safe. Um, there you go. You're okay. You're undamaged. Right, so I can put lights there, just not down low. Uh, okay, you're no damage. Okay, so... Got to do something better than the shoots. Uh, right, now, can I launch this thing? Uh, do I want to do a save first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll save it first. <laughs> okay, so now we want to launch for real. So I have to go to here. It, no. How do I set a destination? Can't. Oh, right, okay, click on Mars. <sighs> right, set destination, we're going to orbit. Right, um, okay, Mars orbit, um, on, ha <laughs> ha, sweet. Oh, no way. I don't have much fuel time left. Okay. Okay, so does it keep using fuel once I get there? And we're there. Okay, so it stopped using fuel. Okay, that's all right. So now, I still can't select that. I need to... Got scanner? Ah, on. Switch on. Right, let me check my power. 97, I've still got plenty of that. Is that doing what it has to do now? Ah, here we go, chart. It's scanning. That one is now charted. Uh, one five one for Phobos. Oh, of course, it's Mars, aren't we? Uh, so we have 
Uncharted 1. Oh, and then there's more once you go there. So now I've got to go there by the looks of it. That destination, that is 151 Delta V. Oh boss. I need to go to you, switch you back on again. Away we go, 30 seconds of fuel to get there. Okay, so I've got to make sure I leave myself time enough time to get back or I'm going to run out of fuel. Oop, we're there. So now I can... Location. I don't uh, scan, I guess. No, I need to switch it on. Nice if there's a better way to do that. Oh, chart, sorry. Right, last one done. That is Rocky Asteroids. Oh. Metallic field. I was expecting it to be ice. Ah, uh, okay, let's go to a metallic field. Uh, engine, fire. Oh, that's nice and close. Okay, we are there. Location we discover. Oh, look. The scanner is off. Oh, that's irritating. Um... I don't see anything changing here. I'll discover progress. There it is. Right. Uh, did I discover? Oh, right. Oh, wow. Now I've got to go there. <laughs> so you must be able to find silver, nickel or lead. Found a silver deposit. Let's let that one scan another one and see if it finds something else. Jump to our map. Now found a nickel deposit. Okay, well let's go to the silver one. Uh, again, can I switch it on from there? I can! Well, that's a much better way of doing it. Maybe if I put you up the top, and the scanner up the top. Uh, we're still good for fuel. have arrived. Um, right, we are there. Okay, no, right, now we can survey it. I can mine it too. Oh. That on? Unless we need a bit of scanner. Can mine it. Oh. Sorry. Okay, so we haven't found anything yet. Okay, composition right. Okay, so we switch to mining. I need to switch on my storage and the miner. Mining. Okay, and that's going to go down. Okay. 
Is it going to tell us how much is actually there? Or we'll just keep mining until that gets down to zero. Ah, 57. 70. Okay, we're getting a fair bit out of it then. Oh, drill condition. That break over time. Uh, okay, let's see if we can bring this thing back then. Uh, I'll get a map. So, uh, can I come back to here? I can. Uh, let's way back. It's a hundred and nineteen seconds. We got two hundred. Oh. Okay, we're on our way back. Are we going to face plant it or are we going to land it? And 50 seconds. Got 150 seconds of fuel. Uh, stop, now you're coming down, we're landing. Ah, oh, that went up again. Wait, it's going back up again. What? Land, damn it. <laughs> well, what the hell happened there? Uh, well, there you go. There's this. Um, yeah, well, there you go. That's rockets. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah, it's my first go at flying one. So um, that one's gone. Uh, but I'll build another one. And uh, yeah. But anyway, there you go. Um... Rockets! Yay! Fire hot! Uh, don't stand too close. <laughs> but anyway, that's about all I've got time for, so that was a bit of an anticlimactic ending. Um, but yeah, it's about all I've got time for now, so until next time, happy building. See ya! <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, it's not lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that's probably not the best demonstration. Rockets, yeah! <laughs>